What is going on guys, Mr. Silver 2000 here and welcome back to another Star Citizen video. And today we are going to cover the MSR, the Mercury Star Runner. And one of the reasons why I wanted to go over the ship is because it has some of the most unique features out of any ships in the entire game actually. And though it isn't my go-to ship, it would probably be pretty high up there on the list as far as kind of using a daily driver around the verse. So we're going to dive into this real fast. This ship does carry size 2 components. It carries size 3 repeaters throughout the entire ship. The pilot itself has two size 3 repeaters. Not too bad for the size of the ship. I wish they would have been size 4 for the pilot and maybe size 3s for the gunners. But you do have size 3s on a turret and you have size 3s on the bottom turret. And the top so for a total of six size three repeaters now the turrets do hold quite a few rounds so the gunners do not have to recharge as much so that's a you know a good factor as far as sustained dps goes it does come with industrial components i believe it comes with c throughout but we will go into urkel and touch on that like i normally do with all the reviews or overviews anyways I'm not going to touch on every single item on this ship. There's a, There would be a lot. It'd be way too long of a video, and I feel like you guys would get bored with it. And I might do individual clips of this ship later showing some of the extra stuff. But I will touch on the highlighted features. Now, this ship is considered medium freight. It holds 114 SCU of cargo. It does have a secret compartment, which we are going to get to. And it is a data runner ship. It does have the server capability inside the ship for when that becomes part of the gameplay. I'm looking to actually forward to that. I think it's going to be something different. And I cannot wait till they implement that. But let's go ahead and get into this. Let's get inside the ship. Let me show you guys around a little bit. And uh, maybe it'll help you if you're looking at maybe making a purchase in-game or maybe even a pledge. So I will be right back with you. Okay, so I got you guys at the back of the ship, and this one thing I definitely want to show you on this is this cargo bay opens and closes very fast. It's one of my favorite things about the ship that I like. Let me see if I can get this guy open for you guys. I mean, I think that's one of the faster ramps in the game, especially for opening and closing, you know, getting pirated and stuff like that. It, it's, it's, a very, it's a very useful feature to have something that opens and closes that fast. So we give it a close, and it's pretty quick. So just first glance, looking in this cargo bay, like I said, 114 SCU, so it does stack up pretty good in here. You do have a lot of areas. You can probably fit a good rock, or maybe a couple of STVs, you know, for PTVs, a mule. It does fit quite a few things. I do not have the specs on exactly what fits and does not fits. I'm sure there's plenty of videos out there on that. Will it fit series and stuff. But let's go ahead and take a look in here. This is kind of like your engineering type section. Which you have your... I know it's kind of dark in here. It has your uh, components. I'm going to go ahead and get the ship powered up. Turn some lights on for you guys. Because that is a also a different feature that is different from a lot of the ships i'll be right back all right guys we got the lights turned on all right so right here we have you know your power your coolers one thing to note i don't know if it was just the particular server i was in i tried it kind of twice i could not get to these things i to get them open maybe there's a panel here let me know in the comment like a panel to maybe unlocks these or something but i have usually i can get to my own components in my own ship but uh yeah i've, I've been i've been i've been able to really get to those so just you know let me know if if you know there's a trick to this particular ship so like i said the cargo bay is pretty nice we are going to take a pop up here now all i did was turn the ship on and got it flight ready and just to, and turn the engines off when we come up the first elevator here, a quick little journey, we have our little server room, which is going to be pretty cool for when we have the data running and stuff like that. I think it's going to be a lot of fun, but um, I think they actually did a really cool design on these. This ship looks amazing with these server racks and stuff. 
we're gonna hop into the scanner room, kind of like the Terrapin. You have your, you know, your seat for your scanning that lets you do all that type of. And looks like there's a panel missing here, which is kind of interesting. We are going to come into this area right here. So when you come out of this, uh, up the up the stairs, you come through the server room, and when you take a right, and you take another immediate right, you have your two turrets. And it'll tell you right here, I think you can get up to them. I think you have your top turret, and I wish it would actually tell you, so you have a, your top and your bottom turrets. Which is nice that they're, you know, together, and obviously you can tell just by looking at them which one's the top and which one's the bottom. So you have your top, and then you have your bottom, and that goes below through the hatch. And I'm pretty sure, turret down, turret up. Jumping up here, I wish they didn't have one of these doors. And this is one thing about this ship. When you first get into this ship, the lights are all turned off. And it's it's interesting because the light switches are what you have to use to, to actually turn the lights on. Whereas other ships you get in, you hit you turn on the power and it turns on all the lights immediately. This one you actually have to go around to the little light switches and get those lights on if it's the first time you using the ship. So I'm going to jump over here real fast first. We're going to show you the habitation area. Nothing, you know, dramatic about this. It is your normal Crusader style. You know, you got your always have your, like your circular type archways that they love to do in their designs. You've got your your beds and there's not a whole lot to this. I believe you have your your triple S right here. Your you know shower shave and I'll leave the other rest to you guys but yeah not not a, not a whole lot to this habitation area you can see right here I mean it's pretty pretty standard so we are going to head up back towards the bridge actually you know what I'm gonna go ahead and go straight on to the fun part we'll we'll do the bridge at the last because I think this is what you guys are wanting to see anyways really so here is our recreation area. Now, there's not a whole lot to this, right? But the coolest feature in here, and what we all call it the smuggling ship for, is you have the ability to come over here, grab a, grab your piece, and this is the one we need the, we need the queen. So we are gonna grab this queen we're going to take it and we are going to place it. And when we place it, voila, we get right to our little smuggling area. Now, using the smuggler, smuggler's area is kind of uh, touchy in 319, I feel like. Like, you know, you had this closed door and you can't close the door. And I don't know if this is the issue with it, but. It doesn't really seem to be working in 319. I, I've, you know, I've had good uh, a package down there. I've gotten scanned, and I still get a crime stat. So I don't know if that's something they are going to have to, to work with or, what the deal is with this. But you just kind of get at the right angle, and you will fall down here. And this tunnel leads you around. It's supposed to be you have these little shielded areas, and these tunnels. Some of these tunnels, I believe, can be accessed from the top. But I believe you have to be from the top end to do it. But, you know, you have these little areas, and once you come all the way around and make your way and weave, you can get to back where really the cargo area is so that you can get out. And this is kind of where it is. So this leads you back to the little area. And you click this to open, and when you open it, it leads you back to the cargo bay. So you have your tunnel, and then this is kind of the secret compartment that takes you out. And that's really it. And this will actually end up closing up. And you'll have your angled panel back. But that is really all there is to show you. Rem remember, I it might be, take some testing, so if you get a crime stat, if you have something illegal down there, at least as of right now, in my experience with my testing, it's not working as of 319. I hope I'm just wrong. I hope it was like a couple of servers I was in that were just bad, but you know, you just never know a star citizen, right? 
So instead of making you guys walk with me all the way back to the bridge, I'm going to go ahead and just jump that way. All right, we are in the bridge area. Got your pilot and your co-pilot seat. Pretty standard design again for a Crusader. You know, you've all seen like the C2s and stuff like that. Very similar designs. So I'll just enter this so you guys can kind of see the animations for it. Just sit, turns you around, and we are in. Now, like I said, you got your four size twos, your two size three, and that's really it for the missiles. And you have your Panthers underneath, and they're the size threes. So let me get you guys an Urkel game so I can show you the components real fast. And I'll be back. Okay, guys, got you in Urkel games real fast. Let's just kind of go through these basic components real fast. Again, it's size two components throughout. Start with these uh, guns. Like I said, you have your six size three. You got your nose turret with the size threes, and you have about 168 ammo. If you take this all the way to power to weapons, you have 202. Um, you do have your 402 rounds for your top and lower turret, which is pretty good. has a pretty nice sustained DPS as well. Hopping over to the missiles, two size three, four size two, nothing crazy about that. Kind of below in my opinion for this particular ship. I wish it had maybe held like a, you know, 12 missile loadout or something on it. Um, our shields, industrial C, power plants, industrial C, coolers, industrial C, and you do have your quantum drive, which is also an industrial C. Guys, to upgrade this, I just go to your standard stuff, you know, um, your military grade A's and B's, and just leave this one kind of the way it is. Maybe even just leave it alone and throw a different quantum drive on it that, that performs a little better, and I think the ship is okay. Especially, I don't think you're going to be taking this into major combat situations. Not, not that you can't. You definitely can, especially with, uh, you know, a couple of players with you to play co-op with, but... I don't think it's m technically meant to be a you know a major major warship or anything. Again, you know it says right here medium freight with 114 SEUs. So that's all I have for you in Urkel Games. I just wanted you guys to kind of get an idea of what the components were, and that's all I have. Well, guys, if you're still here, I hope this helped you with any kind of like quick questions you had. Hopefully, it'll help you one way or the other if you want to pledge or if you just want to purchase in game if you have any comments please leave them below i appreciate the feedback from all you guys and as always i will see you on the next video